we are given a shape a plan of a garden and the mark angles are 90 degree and the edges are straight line the length are shown in the diagram are given in meters so our first question is given that the perimeter of the garden is greater than 29 meter show that x greater than 1.5 meter so this question got three marks we need to prove that we need to prove that our x is greater than 1.5 meter if the perimeter of the shape is greater than 29 meter so how do we find the perimeter of the shape we take all the boundary lines length of all the boundary lines and add them up together so we have 6 minus 2 here 5x 2x minus 1 2x and we have these two lines so if you want to find the length of this line we you know the whole length 5x and if you minus 2x this will be 3x 5x minus 2x and the length of this line you know the whole length is 6x minus 2 minus you know this whole length if you subtract this length which is 2x minus 1 you need to put it in a bracket because this minus is common for both so your this length will be 6x minus 2x is 4x minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 so this is 4x minus 1 we got length of all the boundary lines now the perimeter is greater than 29 meter so this result this is what we are going to use first in order to prove this so our perimeter is add them up together uh, 6x minus 2 plus 6x minus 2 5x 5x plus 2x minus 1 plus 2x plus 4x minus 1 and 3x 4x minus 1 plus 3x is greater than 29 meter this is what given that if the perimeter is greater than 29 meter we need to prove this now just need to simplify uh, sim simplify the like and unlike terms so you will get this result already so when you add them up together 6x 11x 13x 15x 19x 22x you got 22x then minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 minus 4 minus 4 is greater than 29 and it is just a linear inequality solve it bring the minus 4 here so it will become 22x is greater than 29 plus 4 which is 33 so x greater than bring this 22 as a division you will get 20 33 upon 22 or 3 upon 2 which is 1.5 you got 3 marks already if you solve this so x greater than 1.5 meter but the tricky part here you are given perimeter is greater than 29 meter so when you add everything you need to be very careful do not leave any of the straight line any of the boundary line you need to calculate this line length of this line and this line and add them up. that's the tricky part there so when you add them up together you got the first result already now we go we move on to part b now part b says if the area of the garden is less than 72 meter square they want you to form a inequality a quadratic inequality and solve it again this question got five marks so we need to do a little bit of work in order to get this uh, full five marks first how do we find the area of the garden it's a irregular shape com combination of uh, two or more uh, basic shapes so you can divide the shapes into basic shapes to find the area so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw a line here so I got two rectangles rectangle one here and another rectangle here find the area of the rectangle separately and add them up together or if you want you can draw a line here and find the area of this and find the area of this up to you which one you want to do so what I'm going to do I draw a line here so for this rectangle it's 2x minus 1 
and these two sides are 2x so the area is length into breadth so 2x minus 1 into 2x that's the area of this rectangle and when we take a look at the rectangle below we have 3x here these two 3x and these two sides are 6x minus 2 so the area will be length into breadth so 6x minus 2 into 3x so you got area of both the uh, uh, both the rectangles and you need to add them up together so you have two rectangles and find the area separately add them up together but the condition given is the area is less than 72 meter square the area is less than 72 meter square now first we need to form a quadratic inequality. All you need to do is simplify this. So when we multiply 2x by both the term, you will get 4x squared minus 2x. And we take 3x and multiply both the terms, it will become 18x squared minus 6x. 3x into minus 2, less than 72. And you can bring the 72 here and simplify this. 4x squared into 18x squared, 22x squared and I will get minus 8x then the 72 comes here minus 72 less than 0. Now as you can see 2 is a common factor because all the numbers can be divided by 2. So divide this whole quadratic by 2 you will get 11x squared minus 4x minus 36 is less than 0 divided by 2 is 0. We form a quadratic inequality already. So we use the area of the two rectangles and add them up together. You got this quadratic inequality already. Now we need to solve this quadratic inequality. How do we solve a quadratic inequality? Treat this as an equation first. Take it as an equation, 11x squared minus 4x minus 36 is 0. And solve this quadratic function, quadratic equation, by using any method, factorization or formula, completing the square, any method, and find the two x values. So you can, uh, if you got the two x values, you can solve this inequality. So I'm going to use a formula method. Our x is, the formula is minus b which is minus of minus 4, b is the quotient of x, plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac, b square minus 4ac, our a is 11, c is minus 36, divided by 2a, which is equal to, this will become plus 4, square root of 4 square will become plus 16, and when you multiply this, it will become plus 4 into 11 into 36. Use your calculator. So it will become 36 into 4 is 120, 144 into 11. So 144, 144, you will get 1584, 1584 divided by 22 and again don't do all this thing in your exam use your calculator that's much easier so you will have 4 plus or minus square root of it will become 1600 divided by 22 once square root of 1600 is this is 16 into 100 so 40 so you will have 4 plus or minus 40 divided by 22. So we got the two values 4 plus 40 divided by 22, 4 minus 40 divided by 22. So our two values are 44 by 22 comma 4 minus 40 is minus 36 by 22. So when you simplify these your two values will be 2 because 222s are 44. Here you can uh, simplify by 2, you will get minus 18 by 11. You can't simplify further. So after you, once you form an inequality, treat this as an equation 
and solve it by any known method. You can use any method. I have uh, used the formula method, which I think uh, a bit easier compared to factorization because the bigger numbers are involved. And you got two values already. So once you got two values, you need to solve this inequality by using these two values. You got two x values. You cannot just blindly write x is less than 2 or x is less than this. So if your inequality is less than 0 and your coefficient of x square is a positive number, and when you draw the graph for this inequ uh, this quadratic function, the graph will be a U-shaped graph where your this will be minus 18 upon 11 and we have 2 here. So when we solve this inequality, this inequality must be less than 0. So whenever you solve a quadratic inequality, draw a little uh, rough graph which will help you to uh, find the x values. Because sometimes when you try to guess, you, may, you might be doing it wrong. So I always suggest my students to draw a little graph. So you got this graph. And this inequality less than 0 means the y value is less than 0. This is a y axis. Y value less than 0 below the x axis. So they are basically talking about this part of the graph. So you need to find the values, values of x which satisfies this uh, y value. So the corresponding values of x is for this curve, the corresponding value of the corresponding set of values of x is this. So when you combine, it's minus 18 upon 11 less than x less than 2. That's the solution of the inequality. So our solution is minus 18 upon 11 less than x less than 2. That's the solution of this inequality. And if you do this, you got 5 marks. I'm going to repeat again. They say area of the garden. So you might be given any weird looking figure. So just uh, not a combination of basic shapes. So you divide the shapes into some basic shapes, two rectangles and find the area separately and add them up together. That's the area of the whole, uh, the whole shape, which is less than 72. That's given in your question. So less than 72 and simplify this form a quadratic inequality. Once you got this quadratic inequality, you must know how to solve a quadratic inequality. Treat this as a normal quadratic equation. Find two x values by any method you are comfortable with. You can use formula factorization, completing the square or anything. Uh, formula is much advisable because you can just key in everything in your calculator. It will give you the two values. So once you got the two values, draw a little graph, a rough graph. Uh, pay attention to your quotient of x square. It's a positive number. So the graph will be u-shaped. If it is a negative number, the graph will be upside down. And uh, uh, if inequality is less than zero, so you need to look for the graph below the x-axis. So this part of the graph. So the corresponding x value, the corresponding x value is this, which is minus 18 by 11 to 2. That's the solution of this inequality. So that's our part B and we scored 5 marks if we do it correctly. And let's move on to part C now. Now our part C says, state the range of possible values of x. That means they want you to find the values of x which satisfy part A and part B. In part A, x is greater than 1.5. Part B, we got this value. So now we need to find the set of possible values of x which satisfy both the condition. So what we do, we draw a number line and plot them, plot both the points together, both the solution together and look for a common solution. So let's say we draw a number line. That's easy. This question got one mark only, so we don't need much work to do. So draw a little number line and let's say our minus 18 by 11 is here and 1.5 is here and 2 is here. When we plot the first one, x greater than 1.5, but the 1.5 is not included. 
it is not x greater than or equal to it is just x greater than 1.5 so we draw a little circle here and anything greater than 1.5 x greater than 1.5 if it is x greater than or equals 1.5 you need to shade this circle just to denote that the point 1.5 also included and move on to part b minus 18 by 11 but the value is not included and 2 all the way to 2 that's the second solution minus 18 by 11 less than x less than 2 now we we have these two solutions you need to look for a solution a set of solution set of numbers which is common in both the both the uh, solution set so if you take a look this is common in both the same so our solution is 1.5 1.5 is not included because in this set we have 1.5 but here the 1.5 is not included so when we take the common one 1 1.5 is not included 1.5 less than x less than 2 that's the solution if you write if you split this and plot it separately your answer will be wrong you need to combine this this is a value between minus 18 by 11 to 2 and this is a first value in part a so when they say find the range of possible values of x you combine them together and look for a common the intersection of both the set the set of numbers right you find the intersection it's like finding intersection a intersect b so you need to uh, look for a common numbers which is which is uh, in both the set so you will have 1.5 to 2 if you take this part it's not in the first solution set if you take this part anything more than 2 it's not in the second solution it's in first one only so the common one is this so if you write this clearly you will get one more 